Hello, and welcome to Slowcraft number 15. It's been a wee while. Yep. And, <clears throat> excuse me if I'm a wee bit uh, bunged up, a bit with my throat, uh, but I should be on the mend now, right now. So lots of things have been happening in our shop. Yep. You've been knitting things. Yes. Have you? I have been knitting some things. I have actually not knitted as much as I really wanted. You haven't. To. We've got a lot of new stock in. Yeah. <clears throat> a lot of new. You've been teaching every day yeah. your classes, and we've seen a number of your students become really good. You know, go from being a, you know, absolute beginners to then knitting full items. Yeah. You know, really quite impressive. And in fact, you posted on social media one. Let's have a look at it, in fact. So we have a cool new setup where we can show another monitor. Here we are, ta-da! Yeah. Uh, this is our Instagram, so please like and follow our Instagram. And this is the coolest one. This is one of your students, Debbie. Yes. And Debbie was an absolute beginner. Yeah, she started off with the Baltic, it's pure Baltic beanie. It's pure Baltic beanie. And she started, what, a year ago? No, it was a little bit a bit. So you're basically starting with, you know, your <coughs> stocking stitch, bit of fabric in mm. chunky, super chunky. Yeah. And then from that, she's gone to this jumper, yeah. which is amazing. And just really quite impressive. It's really, very, really very neat knitter yeah. as well, which is really good. So what is this design, mm. this pattern? It's uh, one of Kim Hargreaves designs um, some uh, a lady that has been designing for Rowan for a number of years she has now retired unfortunately so uh, so you also have these are quite cool I recognise yeah. these these are uh, Stephen West yeah knit along St Stephen yeah. West knit along yeah the cows and these are also students in your class yeah and both of those uh, well there's obviously three people. One has knitted for quite some time. Uh, the other two have actually knitted, like they haven't knitted for a very long. So it's very impressive that they um, they decided to to do the knit along. Yeah. So this stitch here is called a brioche stitch. No. No, that's not a brioche. There's no brioche in this. There's no brioche. What is this raised, bumpy, so bumpy textile textured pattern here? It's actually because you're doing some slip stitches, um, so it's knitted more in rows and actually in uh, you're not doing fair isle there. So uh, it's yeah, it's probably easier than it looks. Cool, I like it a lot. He's really talented. They are, Stephen they are really yeah, and but also these knitters have done fabulous, really. Basically, we're talking about you know I've been learning to knit and I've done a few hats, but I'm still quite slow. And wanted to kind of really, I play guitar, and one of the things about practicing guitar is challenging yourself outside of your comfort zone. Yes. To get to, to up your skill, and I've not been doing that. And <clears throat> so I wanted to kind of get, a, a look at free patterns for a men's, in America it's a slip over, but in yeah. UK it's called a tank top. Basically a sleeveless, a sleeveless top. Uh, yes. Just as we're coming into September, we're coming into winter, and getting something nice and see if I can knit something. Because I want to make it easy, so we're going to do it in a uh, retro. Sure, sure. Well, you can't see that. West Shirtshire spinners, super mm. chunky. Yeah. Retreat super chunky. Yeah. Uh, and this. So we've. I didn't. The colour was just because this was the wool. This is not selling for some reason. I think it's a really nice colour. It is a very nice colour. It's a dark forest green. What do they call it? It's blue-faced Kerry Hill. 100% blue-faced Kerry Hill wool. I mean, that's nice wool. And But it's not selling, so we've got five balls of this. Yeah, that should be enough for So we're looking for... Yeah, we're looking for a... We're looking for a pattern. What I'm looking for a kind of easy pattern. I got, so, so this is... I was thinking this. Uh, what? Yeah, you're out of the shot. I'm out of the shot. Sorry, I was thinking this that you know knitting is, to me, and people can correct me if I'm wrong, or what they think, but knitting is kind of two things. It's knitting for the act of crafting, 
for, you know, relaxing, maybe mm. meditating a little, calming down, or well, I need to calm down, relaxing <laughs> or being relaxed, <laughs> chilling out, watching TV, listening to a podcast, or just being by yourself or being with other people. So there's all these mm. things. But the second, the other side of knitting is making a garment. Uh, and you uh, can actually just make garments easy and it's actually more they, they, they lean themselves a little bit more to ladies when you're just knitting squares and sewing them together um, yeah so I, I that t- has to be a necessary part of knitting mm. getting the square I think you call it blocking the square to st- stretch it out if you have to no yeah, you can. Uh, it's a good idea to block. So, getting squares that yeah, you have to go through that process to. But I want to knit a garment, yeah. so I'm almost a, I'm a bit impatient to get to the garment. So I need to kind of understand that I've got to get better at knitting to go through that process. Mm. I've been inspired by your students because uh, I remember Debbie starting to knit, coming to the class and learn and yeah. n- having no knowledge of knitting, yeah. and the fact that she's now knitting that jumper was amazing. Uh, well, she's very talented, but you know, it's it's great. Yeah. I'm also wanting to talk about pat free patterns. Yep, that because we've been trying to look for some free patterns yeah. for this project. I mean, I, d- I don't really want a free pattern. I'm quite happy no. to buy a pattern of a good designer. Yeah. But I think it was a good place to start because the world of knitting mm. is quite is now online and it's huge and there's so much choice. And yeah. I googling myself, not being, I don't really classify myself as a knitter yet. I'm trying to knit, but I, I'm not really a knitter mm. yet. So, so looking at beginner online patterns, you get your mm. big sites in the UK at least. Anyway, apologies mm. if you're watching this in the US, but <clears throat> this is Lovecrafts, uh, one of the biggest, quite new really as a website. Yeah, it's not actually that old. Not that old. And impressive, you know. So mm. here I'm searching for beginner knitting patterns. I'm selecting sweaters and jumpers and tops for men and and super chunky. Mm. And it's okay. It's, you're not getting... I'm not hugely no, excited not. by any of this. I like that. I like that there's independent designers here. So I don't know if you can see that. Uh, probably not. But the the best, the most professional looks like this stockinette beginner raglan. Oh, you can't see that. There's a. Let's yeah. click on it. So Chantal M. I don't know who that is. So probably an independent designer. She looks like a good knitter. Well, she's. I think she's actually quite popular on the YouTube. Is she? Is a YouTuber? Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, um, Insta. Instagram. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, so she's, it's a, that looks to me to be quite straightforward, is it? There's shaping here. There is a little bit of shaping, uh, so... I don't know if I want to do that. Uh, well, shaping. I think if you're going to go for a, t- uh, a tank top or a slip over, unfortunately, and if you don't want... You'll have to do shaping. You, you have to do some shaping, but you wouldn't go for a raglan for a slip over. Okay, so Chantal M is nice. The other one, big one, in the UK, Wool and the Gang. Yeah. Again, also quite new. I mean, I remember not being Wool and the Gang, so I don't know, it's less than 10 years. Maybe not, I don't know. Yeah, I can't remember when they started. Again, some good patterns. They've got more free. You noticed in uh, Lovecraft's not free, actually, and I don't mind paying for Chantal's pattern. Mm. That's fine. Actually, we should support the designers. Support independent designers, yes. On Wool and the Gang... Not necessarily independent. These are all their designs, aren't they? And yep. they've got these are all free. So that's kind of cool. I like the watermelon. Let's click on that. That's quite cool. That looks to me like simply squares with some ribbing. In fact, they've mm. got a quite a good breakdown here. Yes, I need to have a wee look at that burn because if this is intarsia, it's no way. That that's an easy pattern. Why do you think that's intarsia and not just squares because, sewn together? Um, because it seems like colour blocks and you can actually knit it. Um, so, I, yeah, I need to have a look at the construction, whether it's actually knitting its stripes and sewn up together. 
I don't think it's uh, done in squares. Um, so it's interesting. It's, it's cool. It's free as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's the tank top. I like that. That's not. I don't know if that's quite unisex though. Mm, that is a crochet pattern. Oh, is it? I didn't even yeah. see that. Right. Okay. Let's move on. Nothing wrong with crochet. It's just I'm not crocheting. I'm knitting. They're, I mean, they're kind of a light wool in the gown. They're kind of aimed at younger. Mm. There's kind of kind of cooler stuff. That's quite cool. That dress, quite slinky. Dylan tank top. I don't like the frayed. You can't see yeah, it. Yeah, but see, so that is one of the things is that you can always adjust patterns. Uh, it's obviously maybe a little bit harder when you're a beginner, but you don't have to put the frays on. No, I get that. To me, that looks like it. Apart from the stripes, mm. that could be a gore to get my tank top. But I'd like some detail around the arms. Yes. And I, d- I don't necessarily want as wide a, f- a kind of feminine neck, is that? No, it's so... It's not bad. So that's Will and the Gang. Uh, who else do we have? We Are Knitters. I don't think they had any, in fact. Um, so We Are Knitters, originally Spanish, I think, We Are Knitters. Um, I think you have to go in really look at their kits rather than their patterns. All right, kits, knitting kits. Uh, I mean, good good searching, good website. I mean, I like websites yeah. and good... Uh, so Project Sweaters, I can select. There's my vest. So you... Slip over tank top or vest, yeah. is what they're going to call it. And they've got some nice set. Uh, and, and I, like, I like the look and feel. I don't like that. I've seen that before. I don't like that. The hard actually, towel. No, you know what? It's actually quite clever. Why? Because it's a way of having uh, just a wee bit of a neck, too. So right, when you right. put under a, a jacket, so they're actually quite nice for that. Okay, so that one's okay. <clears throat> yeah, um, what you can see, this one is quite boxy, so it goes kind of straight up, which means that you get these drop shoulders, and I think you want one that's a bit more sh- sh- kind of shaped, so we do need to kind of work on... But a, a boxy one, it'd be easier to knit. Yes, because it's basically... Also, this is a V-neck, so uh, which means that you've got shaping uh, right from when the neck starts. But so... <clears throat> So, sorry, are we going to do one with shaping in it? If you want one that doesn't have the drop shoulder and uh, a little bit of a neck, I think for men, this kind of slash neck doesn't really suit that well. So we do have to do some basic shapings. And, of course, we couldn't look at websites without looking at our own website, which is super-duper amazing. The only website you should be looking at. Mm-hmm. So we do have some patterns. We've got so we've got some good patterns, I think. Uh, and if you go into free patterns, yeah, and then search, you do get some good selection of stuff. But I think we're missing. To be very honest, we're missing some men's super chunky. So I've uh, used the filter, the sidebar, to filter on cardigans and sweaters. Yeah. Price is open because they're all free, and we get some nice stuff which I, I quite like. We, of course, our baby stuff is very good. Yep. But we don't have men's sweaters. Have we got a men's filter even? I. We do. Yes, right. We so do. what men so have we got? Three free men's, and it's. It's uh, kind of unisex yeah, ones. Yeah, Arnie and Carlos ones. Yeah. So they're pretty complex stuff. Yeah. And there's the great Arnie and Carlos modelling their own cardigans, uh, jumpers. Mm-hmm. Right, so... Yeah, we're missing the super chunky jumpers and for beginners. But check out our website, because we do have a lot of patterns. But we don't quite have the patterns that I want, interestingly. So, let's go back to what we're doing here. Yeah. We, I want to knit a jumper, my first ever jumper. We're going to mm-hmm. use this really lovely... Uh, Worcestershire Spinners Retreat it's uh, Blue Face Kerry Hill 100% Blue Face Kerry Hill it's a really nice wool and the point is I'm still at a, a beginner bit stage of knitting and not I'm finding it hard to move on this is a great book Lenting at the Basics uh, and I've got this on my shelf I also use our videos our online videos which, yeah. you use, which you're watching right now uh, so but the skills in that book and our and on our videos are what I'm looking to use to make my first jumper. Yes, you. So that is. 
We've got the Big Wheel, uh, Rowan Yarns Big Wheel, and the Big Wheel Four Projects. Yeah. That one there is actually free when people buy the Big Wheel from us. So that's Big Wheel Four Projects is free. Yeah. And, yeah, that's a good stuff. I mean, that's a cracker. Yeah, that is uh, that is a good one. People just actually have to be, bear in mind the pit pattern in this book list is actually have a small error, so you do need to go and look at the errata. That's for that one. The errata? Is errata included in this? No, it's on uh, the website. You're being very uh, ASD and you're <laughs> pointing out it's got an error. Right, good. Mm. But that's good. That's a great thing. That's a great part of your ASD. Uh, and Big Old Classics, is, this is not free. No, that's, uh, much is I it? think it's £3. And it's got some nice patterns in it. Again, I'm quite pleased that all kind of ribs and uh, mm. the stocking stitch. But again, not quite what I wanted. So, mm. Can I actually just point out, when I was just mentioning errors and erratas, mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> because a lot of knitters think that they knit a pattern and then they they don't know why it doesn't fit or why it doesn't and it actually turns out that there might be an error in the pattern so there is patterns with error so you do need to kind of if if you don't understand it go and visit your local yarn, yarn shop well visit your local yarn shop is <laughs> the message yeah so <clears throat> you found me earlier on today this West Yorkshire Spinners great book uh, yeah. Is that a little sale or tell yeah. us dinging? We're in the shop, if you didn't know. We're actually yeah. in the shop. And <clears throat> we're going to use this retreat. So it's the wool that I've got here. Mm. I Sorry, it's so bright. You can't quite see that. Can we make it? Mm. Where's your no, spinners? We can't actually really. yeah. And it's the retreat, super chunky roving. And this is this book. Yeah. So I'm kind of lucky that I've got that. The point was, can we make a pattern with any chunky wool and any big wool pattern? The answer is yes, but let's, because this is my first time, Yeah. let's do this. So, what was the one we had? So, we're going for... 64. Yeah, that one there, we're going to kind of use that as a... A base can, pattern. A kind of a base pattern, and then we're going to adjust it quite heavily. We're going to adjust it and make it our own. Yeah. So we're probably just going to maybe use the stitch count for casting on, and that's about it. Really. That's about it. Okay, handsome chap. Uh, Aria meaning noble, didn't know that. V-neck, so I like the V-neck. It's a nice kind of sexy V-neck, quite a wide V-neck. Uh, this is then, what stitch is this? That is moss stitch. Or Which moss stitch is what then? It's a knit, purl, knit, purl, and then it's purl over knit and knit over purl when you're going back the way. Uh, so it's but here is, so that's the same jumper but without sleeves. Yeah, so that's your, um, that's your tank top or your vest. Tank top or vest, mm. okay. Also the moss stitch is called seed stitch in America, I think. Moss stitch or seed stitch, okay, mm -hmm. I like it. Yeah. By this level is saying, let's look at this pattern, let's zoom in on our super fancy mm -hmm. zooming in function. So this is a th level three out of five, so is that not too difficult for me to do start? Um, so you're one, but it's a complete beginner, then it's beginner, then it's easy. So So what? I'm yeah, no, it's fine because we're not going to use seed stitch. We are just going to... We're just going to get some kind of really basic information. So we're literally using this pattern just for rough measurements. Yeah. And not worrying too much about this seed stitch or moss stitch. No. Because we're going to do stocking stitch. Well, we haven't really 100% decided on whether we're going to use garter stitch or stocking stitch yet. Are you I, don't going really, I don't know if I like garter stitch. I think... If, and why, if I can do stocking stitch, why can't I do this? Yeah, one? if you can do stocking stitch, you can do this. I think we should just do that then. Yeah. I want to follow the pattern. Yeah, and you want to do the rib as well, I take it. Yeah, we need to do the rib at the bottom. I think to me yeah. that's a key part of any jumper, mm. is a rib at the bottom. Yeah, some people like to put a, a moss stitch or just a garter stitch at the bottom, just to make it easier. Okay, let's get into this and see if we've got the yarn because we're going to we're going to start it and then the next video we're going to see if we can how far we get and how to put it together. Yeah. Is this is this then one? Is this knitting flat blocks and sewing them together? Yes. How do you know that? Because so f first of all, what you get an idea the equipment when it says one pair 
of needles. I actually hear it's totally specified, so don't always do that, but it says one pair of nine millimeter, 35 centimeter long knitting needles that instantly uh, indicate that it's knitted it's flat. flat. Yeah, that it's pieces and you sew them together. One pair nine mil, one pair 10 mil, why do we need 10 mil? Uh, you need a nine millimeter for your rib. Mm -hmm to just make it a bit tighter so yep. it goes in. Yep. And then you need a 10 millimeter for your kind of main Front fabric. Front and back of the body. Yeah, so, you've, so if you were doing a stocking stitch, then we will be using the 10 millimeter when we're using the stocking stitch and then nine millimeter when you're doing the rib. A long time ago, I always just used the 10. I would just go for the main needle and just do the rib and that, but actually it does make a massive difference to go down a size and do your ribs and that. So I always now do that. So I'm noticing tension, and it says it is essential to work to the stated tension to ensure success. Yes. So is it then worth knitting a tension square? Yes, you could do that. Uh, some people like to do the tension square. Uh, other people basically just start knitting, and then when they have a little bit of the fabric knitted up, they then measure. So when I've got fabric. 10 stitches and 17 rows, to 10 centimetre measured over more stitching using yeah. 10 mil needles or size. Yeah, so you need to get that in, in So hold on, let me break this down. So if I did 17 rows of 10 stitches, mm -hmm. that really should give me 10 centimetres. Yes. We're using 10 mil needles, which is this big needle. Yeah. Okay, but I don't, I didn't necessarily have to do that. I could, 17 rows should be 10 mil long. Yes. Is that what we're saying? Yes, that's what you're saying. Pattern note. We're not going to use the pattern, are we? No, we're not. Uh, we're only just going to do use kind of rough. Okay, so this is uh, interesting, this bit. Needle note. You can knit this pattern using 35 centimetre straight needles, which is that. If you look at that. Oops. So it's that needle. Is that yeah. a 35? That looks 35. That, yeah, that's 35, that one. And then you can knit this needle 35. However, due to the thickness of Retreat Super Chunky, for larger garment sizes, it would be me, your mm -hmm. stitches will be pushed more tightly together, which I hate when I knit. After working a few rows, this becomes easier. If you prefer more room on your needles, you can alternate between using an 80 centimetre circular, where you have a large stitch count, turning the work at the end of each row, and 35 centimetre straight needles for a smaller. So I prefer the circular. Yeah. So what does that mean? 80 centimetre is a wire? Um, that, no, that's actually from tip to tip. So that's in the tips. Tip. Wire so the tips to tip. Wire, yeah. So often the 80 centimetre... Um, so you've got these so, ebonies yeah. here, which are quite nice, slinky. But, so they are... What are they? 13? No, that's not 13 centimetres. So that's not that. Yes, they're 13 centimetres long there. So you add your wire and you add a 56 centimetre wire. Okay. And that will give you roughly about 80. Okay, amazing. So we're just getting a lot of information here. Right, how do we know how many w balls of wool we need? So uh, this pattern tells you here. So the slip over, yep. you're using, uh, for the first size, you will use three. Second size, you will use four. Third, four, fifth and so on, so you can see all your sizes. And the sizes relate to these boxes? So these ones down here. So, you so basically that's size go, one? Yeah. That's which relates to this? So the first four, four, no, three. So the first three, is three. Yeah. And then everything that comes into the bragus is two and up. So you you'll two do, and up? What so mean? the one, so the 28 to 30 is the first number you see there. Then you go into the 32 to 34 that will be the second so basically that's a second box okay. second size so this is what do the we last think I one am? I'm not 52 no inches. you're prob 44 inches so to you're 46. probably there so you're going into one five two. balls so five balls just just after four we have we decided whether we're going in to do a contrast color because well, we don't have a contrast color no we have but uh, we don't need necessarily need to use it so that's that's it. That's a I think choice. it depends what because I'd want the same WYS uh, mm. retreat. 
So what do we have of that? Well, we've got loads of colours, but we can decide on that after this. Okay, so we won't do it right now, but let's tell me. So then I would turn the page. We've got the wool, we've got our needles, yeah. we know the size. Sorry, this is a bit difficult. So this is telling us that we've got back shape armholes for the, for the sizes, what to do. Shape shoulders, break off your arm front. So, am I working like I'm reading it? Then I'm going to start with the back. Yes, uh, most uh, most flatness pattern starts with the back, and then you go on to the front. So, using my nine mil needles, which should be my ebony's or my circulars. Yeah. And I would. I'm trying to work this out myself. I would cast on. Well, using nine mil needles or circular needle and B. What does that mean? That's color B. Oh, right, my goodness, it's not that complicated, okay. So colour B is so my, not my main colour then, so, that's no. the, so in the pattern, that's why, because in the pattern, the the secondary colour starts first. Yes. That's clever, okay, we get it, we're getting there. Interesting. There she is, she's smiling, she's going, Stephen, you get it. You can you can knit me this sleep, this lovely top. I go yes, I could. So we're going in using nine mil needles and my secondary colour if we're using it. Yeah. Cast on forty five stitches, or because I'm doing the set the third biggest, sixty seven stitches. Yeah. 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 So hold on a minute. This is crazy talk. We're going to knit, we're going to cast on. We're going to do opposite and circular, not in these, and circular. We're going to do 67 stitches in that. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, this is going to take ages. No, it's not. Okay, so let's do the first, let's just tell me in the back then. So 67 stitches in row one. Right side, is that yes, what it is? That's right side, yep. Knit one, star, why star, purl one? Because... Or repeat from star to end, I yeah. see. So it's always... Do you know what it's like? It's a wee bit like music. I'm not a great mm. sheet music reader, but I kind of get it. I've done a bit of sheet music. Mm. And you read your music along the way, and if there's a double, two dots, that's repeat once you've passed that point. Mm. Then you go back and repeat. Mm. I like it's it. Also, it's like an equation. It is like computer programming. It is. I work in IT, and it's very like computer programming. It's very. It seems overly complex, and actually, it's just quite logical. Mm. But you have to have someone's got to break it down for you, which is what we are doing now for you guys. Yeah. So I hope it's helpful. Row one, right side, knit one, purl one, knit one, then repeat from st asterisk to or asterisk to end. Knit one, purl one, knit one, and then go back to yeah. purl one, knit one, purl one, knit yeah. one. So this is uh, basically what they're doing is a one by one rib. A one by one rib. That's yeah. just my rib. Then how do then row two? That is when you change to color. No, row two wrong. So change to a. Yep. Team again. Row three. Color. Yep. No, row row three. Keep on the. Keep on a. Row four. Change back to my. Secondary colour. Yeah. Repeat the last four once more. Row nine using B for the final row, and that's my basically my rib. Yes. At the bottom. And row and then break off B. Change them a ten mil and then we're just doing a purl to the end. Yeah. What's purl to end mean? That means just basically just purl, purl the whole thing, purl, right? Yeah. Row one is then knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one, knit one, on the right side. Row, row two, the wrong side. So this is actually where your most stitch starts. Uh, and right side and wrong side is when you're flipping. You're going to flip it when you do and then circular needle, circular needles, yeah. and you flip the your fabric that's coming from the circular needles. And you get your right side and wrong side. We really need to talk about that. I think we should go and start this. Yeah. See how far we get. So I'm yeah. talking about right side and wrong side. So we're basically just for you. We're just using 
this bit here. Probably not even the colour changes. So we're basically just going in doing a. Well, maybe so. I'll try the colour. If we can get a colour, I'd like a, I don't want a contrasting colour, I'd like a subtle complementary colour. Okay. Let's try and do it and see if we can get the next video up really quickly. Yeah. Right. Thank you, everybody. Yeah. We'll no. see you very soon with okay. exciting jumpers. Yes.